students, how are you today? I hope you are as ready as I am to start learning and have fun. Welcome to Grade 9 Science Video Lesson. I am your teacher for today, Teacher Lisa. Please prepare your notebook and pen for taking important details in our discussion and also your last or your learning activity sheets. We have a lot to learn today, so let's get started! For today's lesson, our objectives are Number 1. Describe the cause and effect of climate change. Number 2. Describe global warming, El Nino, and La Nina. Let's start with a short recap with our lesson last week. Can you still recall the factors that affect Earth's climate? That's right! These are altitude, latitude, topography, and ocean currents. But mainly, it is also influenced by the amount of energy coming from the sun. But what makes the climate change? Climate change is any change in climate over time, whether due to natural or man-made causes. This could be a change in Earth's usual temperature or in how much rain a place usually gets in a year. Did you know that our nature can also cause climate change? Yes, that's correct! Natural causes include difference in solar output and large volcanic eruptions. Number 1. Sunspots Sunspots are cooler regions on the sun's surface that appear as dark spots. When the number of sunspots increases, it causes higher solar radiation which Earth receives, which coincides with higher global temperatures. Number 2. Massive Volcanic Eruptions Massive volcanic eruptions produce tons of ash and sulfur dioxide gas, enough to reduce global sunlight, cooling the planet and lowers average temperature. Man-made causes involve burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and conversion of land due to industrialization and urbanization. Number 1. Burning fossil fuels yield large amounts of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. A higher concentration of greenhouse gases cause heat trapped in the atmosphere, resulting Earth's temperature to rise leading to global warming. Number 2. Deforestation Deforestation is loss of forests due to cutting of trees. Trees absorb billion tons of carbon dioxide every year, thus taking significant amount of greenhouse gas emissions which decreases Earth's temperatures. Number 3. Land areas are being converted into livestock farms, factories, and infrastructures, which also greatly emits a lot of greenhouse gases. Let us now answer the first activity. For instruction, write down the natural and man-made causes of climate change on the first diagram. Then on the second diagram, list down the effects of climate change in plants and animals respectively. 
5 minutes is allotted for you to answer this activity. Time is up! That was great! Now, look at this picture. What is this picture? Yes, that's right. That is our home. That is Earth. Let's take a closer look at the Earth. What can you see? Correct! Those are the greenhouse gases. Solar radiation warms the Earth as its energy is absorbed by the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, there are greenhouse gases present. This includes water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Greenhouse gases prevent heat from escaping the Earth, thus making Earth's temperature higher. Without it, our planet would be too cold to support most forms of life, and with too much of it, give rise to the term global warming. Global warming is the long-term heating of Earth's climate system. It is observed since the pre-industrial period between 1850 to 1900s. When the Industrial Revolution began, more emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases threatened all living things. Developed countries and developing countries became more dependent on fossil fuels. Burning of fossil fuels is one of the main sources of carbon dioxide emission. What would be the outcome if there is too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Of course, there would be an increase of global temperature. In the second activity, you will find out what main component of air causes the rising of the global temperature. For instruction, study the given graph and answer the guide questions. You are given 5 minutes to answer this activity. Question number 1. How much is the increase in temperature from 1880 to 2010? Question number two. What happened to the amount of carbon dioxide from 1880 to 2010? Question number three. When was temperature at its highest and at its lowest? Question number four. What do you think are the effects of the increasing amount of global temperature? and carbon dioxide concentrations. That was a very informative activity. Let us now proceed to our next lesson. A 
aside from these impacts of the climate change that we are experiencing, we still have two cyclical events that we encounter, the El Nino and La Nina. El Nino is an abnormal and lengthy warming in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. This natural phenomenon occurs at irregular intervals of 2 to 7 years and lasts for 9 months or 2 years at most. Usually, it starts at the end of the year or during Christmas season. That is why it is termed as El Nino which means Christ child. Normally, as trade winds move from east to west, they collect warm air. But when trade winds are weakened, they cause the piling of warm surface water and making the part of the Pacific Ocean warmer leading to the El Nino phenomenon. This happens when the upwelling of colder water is blocked by the large quantities of warm surface water. Since the Pacific Ocean is the east of the Philippines, El Nino phenomenon will affect the country. When there is an increase of the temperature, in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean, it is expected that some areas in the Philippines will experience this climatic phenomenon. Some areas in the country will experience near to above rainfall and some areas may experience drier than normal rainfall. El Nino will most likely bring severe drought. It is believed that it causes stronger thunderstorm disturbance and massive storms. It also causes the decrease in the population of some species. Let's proceed to the next activity. You are going to make an acoustic. For instruction, write sentences that best describe El Nino using the letters L, N, I, N, O. The first letter E is done for you as an example. Do this activity for 5 minutes. Way to go, class! We are now on the last part of our lesson. I hope you are still actively listening. And for the last cyclical event, we have La Nina phenomenon. La Nina is a climate pattern that describes the cooling of the surface ocean waters. It is the opposite climatic disturbance to El Nino. This natural phenomenon may but does not always follow El Nino events. It may last for 9 to 12 months, but in some cases, it lasts for 2 years. This event is triggered by the cooling of the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. That's why it is sometimes called Cold Pacific. Trade winds that move from east to west are strengthened. Upwelling of colder water intensifies. Moving air brings along too much water vapor. When it reaches the land mass, such as Philippines, precipitation is experienced. There would be an increase of rainfall in some areas in the Philippines. I am glad you made it until our last discussion for today's episode. That was a great job!
And for the last activity, you are going to make a slogan that would best describe La Nina in the Philippines. For the rubrics, we have creativity, originality, and craftsmanship. Five points for excellent, three points for good, and two points for satisfactory. You are again given five minutes to accomplish this activity. That ends our episode for today. I hope you had fun like I did. I know that you were able to learn the ideas and concepts behind our lesson. After performing various activities, I know that you are now equipped with all the ideas that will help you apply your knowledge in your day-to-day -day activity. Alright! This has been Teacher Lisa. See you in our next episode. Goodbye everyone. Keep safe and always follow the COVID-19 protocols. God bless everyone.